What's up, everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six. I'm Rob. Doing Glen Scotia 15 year old. All right, so this bottle was given to me at about this point, just over the halfway point, by Peter White. Um, it was a gift to the channel. It's roughly a hundred dollars out west. Not exactly sure what this would go for in the United States. It's not available in Ontario, but it's gained some steam based on the fact that it was highly touted by Ralphie. Okay. Um, also, a lot of Scottish people, just in general, are loving Campbelltown whiskey. Campbelltown whiskey does not stay on shelves very long in the UK for the most part, and that includes Glen Scotia's as well. This is 46%, unchill filtered, no added color, all right? Um, aged entirely in American oak casks. So based on what we know about American oak casks, it's likely entirely ex-bourbon, but McAllen uh, uses American oak casks that had sherry in them as well. So I'm gonna taste and nose this, but I think if any of those American oak casks had sherry, it was very little. I don't know exactly. I don't think there is. It smells like a straight bourbon nose to me. I'm gonna venture a strong guess that this is just exclusively ex-bourbon. Very, very nice, rich, ex-bourbon smell coming from this. Kind of a little bit of like a sea spray saltiness. That's coming from the region. Um, it's a peninsula location, Cameltown. And basically that means it's on the west side of Scotland, surrounded by ocean water, right? So. Definitely get that sea salt type influence. Yeah, I don't think there's any sherry in this whatsoever. I mean, obviously the fact that it's entirely American oak is a strong indicator that it's just ex-bourbon, but as I mentioned earlier, McAllen does use American oak that contains sherry in their fine oak series. It's two types of sherry casks one European, one American, and then ex-bourbon cask, which is also American. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that's the case here. I think that's just ex-bourbon entirely. So, People that knows this are gonna pick up something reminiscent of Springbank. Um, not entirely the same. I don't think there's very much, if any, peat used in this at all. It's not, identi it's not identifiable on the palate or on the nose. But on the nose, there is a little bit of that Campbelltown mustiness um, that's associated with Springbank type whiskeys. But I think that's coming from that sea spray, that brininess. And there might be maybe less than 10 ppm in this one. Very, very little. But really nice. Vanilla Get that mustiness, that barley mustiness. It's almost like, I don't know, like something like almost like porridgey type mustiness. It's like a steel cut oats. Just really, really nice.
Really like the palette on this one as well. It's a little hotter than I expected at 46%, 15 years old. But still overall very nice. It's thick. It's got a nice viscosity to it. Not very sweet. You get like the entry of like a vanilla and honey, but it kind of tapers off more into that mustiness, less into like what you would expect to be a little bit sweeter, but very pleasant on the palate. Really nice finish too. This is solid stuff. I think you really benefit from letting it open up a little bit. It's had time to oxidize in the, in the bottle. It's been at that level for a while. I've had this for about two months, if not a little longer than that. Um, and I know when Peter opened it, he didn't love it. So that could be better now than it was when it was first opened. I didn't get a chance to try it when it was first opened, but I really like this. I think this is like a high A for me. I'm going to give this an 88. I would go lower if I had to at around 87, but not lower than that. I really like it. I think it's good stuff. I would buy it again or I would buy a bottle for myself. Um, I definitely recommend it, especially if you can get that under $100. Definitely worth it in my opinion. Okay, And, and the nose is really inviting. I don't pick up a ton of peat, but like I said, that Springbank type mustiness comes through and I know it's a different uh, company altogether in Glen Scotia, but something very similar for sure. Really good stuff. Like I said, that's an A, um, 87, 88. All right. Um, you guys can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can also check me out on Patreon. I'm thinking about making my live, which would be tomorrow when you're watching this, because I will release this on a Monday, um, talking a little bit about Inven Avengers Infinity War, but I'm not 100% sure, because I know that it's still relatively early and a lot of people haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I highly recommend that movie. Go check it out, I'm very curious. Uh, you guys can email me. I I'm curious to see what everybody's thinking out there, because it, it was awesome. I loved it. I'm still thinking about it two, three days later. So uh, that's always a good sign. This Glen Scotia is awesome. Check it out. Um, and again, I'll leave the link below for Patreon if you guys want to support the channel. Um, the link will assist you in doing that. I still have a bunch of t-shirts, um, mainly mediums, large, and a couple extra large left in the old style. Uh, that's this style right here. The new style is similar to the shirt I'm wearing right now, but black. And instead of kickboxing in here, it says whiskey. Um, these are my kickboxing in the six shirts, or six or kickboxing shirts anyway. Uh, something entirely different. But yeah, if, if you guys want any merchandise, hats, shirts, whatever, sweaters even, let me know. You can email me at uh, whiskeyinthesix at gmail.com. All right, guys. Cheers.